kids? Guess what? Professor Quantum just upgraded my advanced mathematical logicator circuitry so I can try and solve an equation that is inspired by today's superverse. Let us read it now, shall we? Ephesians 3.20 says, Now all glory to God, who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Hmm, infinitely more. I wonder how much that is. And this is why I had Professor Quantum update my mathematical programming. Okay, multiply that by three and then carry that and then we are divide by the radius of Saturn, multiply by the force of gravity, speed of moonlight, then transmorgify pi to the 70. The limit does not exist inside relative space to the power of the average velocity over displaced over changing time to infinitely more. Infinitely more. Infinitely more. Infinitely more. Infinitely more. Even with my new advanced mathematical circuitry, it would take me trillions and trillions of years to calculate all of the different things that God can accomplish. And even then, I still would not be able to count all that he can do. It is more than we can ever imagine, infinitely more. But what is even greater is the fact that God has invited us to do all these great things with him. God uses us in ways that we would never expect, like the author of today's superverse, Paul. Before he met God, he used to hate and persecute Christians. Then, Paul experienced God's power in a miraculous way. And after that, God was able to use him to do miraculous things and share Christ's love with the world. If we humble ourselves and stay faithful to God, then he can work within us to accomplish an infinite number of great things as well. You can see the miraculous things God has done for his people in the Superbook Bible app. Watch full episodes of Superbook and play awesome games today. Goodbye.